Well, I got a big problem. I can't pick my corn. Let me show you why. I got wasp nests in my corn. There's only one thing to do about a wasp nest in your corn. I'm just joking, fellas. I picked it before I drove through it. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, we are gonna actually be doing our metal detecting. So, stick with me. I gotta get some bug juice on because the bugs are horrible out. It's a probably about seven o'clock at night. We're gonna bust in a quick hunt real quick, see what we can find, and uh, go from there. But, ugh, ticks have been horrible this year. That should be enough. We should be good. Yeah, so we armor ourselves. We got a Garrett 250. We are going to get down and dirty in these woods as much as I possibly can because the ticks are really this bad this year. So I'm just going to treasure hunt the little easy areas. We do have some pretty large trees around this area, which will be easy to uh, hit from the trail. Let's go do it. We, uh, we got a lot of historical uh, travels through here. A lot of Indian. Uh, Pioneer Trails, the Mormons came through here. They had a lot of bivouac sites around here and found out I had a school right down the street from me. And I found the original landowners, well, as far as back as I could on record, as far as map wise, back to 1908. I have a map of my property from 1908. This property does date back a long time and there's been people on this property for a very long time. Now my house was only built in 94, but this whole area started getting developed in the early 90s. Do you want my head to explode? No more for today! Now I gotta be really careful because there is a ton of poison ivy out here guys. And if you guys know me, I am extremely allergic to poison ivy. Ah, bad. Ooh. We got something. I don't know what this could be. It's coming up as like a iron though. Oh, you oh, there it is. Ah, whole piece of wire. Darn it, I thought I was gonna hit the treasure. Oh, no treasure. Well, off to the next treasure hunt. We'll just keep on pushing. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at my metal detector. I'll show you how this works really quick. I got different levels of sensitivity. And then I can also change modes to eliminate certain metals. So I can go to non-ferrous and ferrous metals. So right now I kind of just searching everything. But if you think you're just going to hunt in the gold and bronze area right here, you're being mistaken. Because you're going to pick up a lot of foil. See that foil pop top, aluminum cans? You'll get a lot of that. You're going to miss out on your silvers and all kinds of stuff. Now, you can definitely... Get the irons out of the way. You can eliminate some of those foils, but God, you think you ever live with yourself, you missed a gold piece? So I kind of just hunt this right here. This is gonna eliminate anything that's iron because we don't want anything that's iron anyway. So so like I said, got a lot of historical things going through the property. Maybe not my property in particular, but like I said, there it was old maps of my property dating back to 1908, which tells me that People have been on this property for that long. And if they've been on this property that long, someone's bound to drop something, bury something, do something at one time. So, well, it's just on us to find it. Well, I kind of been walking around here a little bit, I'm not finding much. I don't want to eat up a whole lot of my battery because I'm on my back uh, property and, uh, you know, trying to conserve what I've got, you know what I mean? And my card. So we're gonna try another part of the property where that garbage pile is at. I'm not gonna be able to take you to that garbage pile because it is deep, deep. 
but I can get in the trail a little bit to where it kind of goes to. We might be able to find something there. So let's go check it out. And it's a little bit more light. I'm kind of in the woods right now. So I might be able to get some better footage. I can't explain enough of how much I love these trails, I tell you what. And I can't wait to get this all cleared out. We're almost to the spot. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. What do you think guys, should we go over it? Think we can do it? I can't remember if this is the one with the thorns or not. It looks pretty thornless to me. Give it a shot. Thank you very much. All right, let's go try to find some cool stuff. All right, guys, I've been belly teching now for about, I don't know, an hour or so. And uh, I think we found something and it's hitting pretty good on the metal detector. Let me show you. It's jumping between a 25 silver a one dollar silver it's jumping all over the place I might have multiple coins around here check this out if this is something I'm gonna want to catch it before I dig it up so let's document this <clears throat> let me get my camera situated here I wasn't really expecting this oh come on hush can't catch this all at the same time and focus see here auto focus see I lost it what the heck there it goes says it's deep and sh it's all over the place but it's popping in the good stuff popping in the money area Let's see if I, but I keep on losing it it must be deep see that one dollar silver god if it's a one dollar silver that'd be freaking awesome all right I'm not shutting this camera off you're gonna see it. I'm gonna pinpoint this. Try right there. Right there. All right. Put the metal detector to the side here. Whew. See what we find. Got a bunch of sticks growing through there. Whew. 
Oh, yuck. Oh man, it's gonna make me work for it. You guys see this? Whatever's in there. It's a fire out colony that's in there. Whatever is working around this. Oh my God, this sucks. This better be good. This better be good. Oh boy. All right. We'll push through it. Where are we at? We'll push through it. Still in the middle there. Whew. These guys put off a nasty smell. Whatever. <clears throat> this thing's like a hole. You guys see it? like a big termite mound or a big cavern. Oh, I see it. Oh my God. I don't want to dig my hand in this thing, but I think I see it. Ugh. I think these are termites. Whew. Oh man, they stink. Smells like Smells like uh, pines oil or something like that. Oh my God, but it's... It is. God, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? No freaking way. No freaking way. It's an 1880, no, 1891 silver dollar. I'm kind of in shock right now. And I'm kind of staying on an ant mound, I forgot, Jesus. I'm gonna go grab the mower and we're gonna cut this area down. All right, so let me let me get my head straight here. I bet you guys never thought I'd be speechless. All right, so God, I think I got ants biting me too. So <clears throat> I think this area that I'm in, this is <clears throat> this is the area that was a field back in the day. Let me fix this camera. This is an area that was a field back in the day. This could easily have fallen out of a farmer's pocket, plowing fields and what have you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. It's getting late now, the sun's going down. Hold on, let me try to adjust this because, sorry, I'm not being a very good YouTuber right now. I'm just, I don't wanna shut the camera off because I just want to catch everything. I don't know what to really say right now, but we're going to go get the mower. Not today. 
the sun's going down and I want to metal detect this whole area because usually the one thing I know with me finding change in the past if somebody has dropped something they probably dropped more of it they probably dropped a lot more of it um, just for given, given the fact that they probably had a hole in their pocket the way they were sitting um, stuff was falling out of their pocket they're running something happened whatever it be they don't nobody ever just drops like one coin they always drop a couple so this stuff is really thick there's a lot of there's a lot of poison ivy in here and I am gonna go back and I'm gonna go get my mower and I'm gonna cut this all down a big section down here chop it all up and we're gonna mel detect this section right here and we're gonna get into the woods too and we're gonna get into the thickets because I'm sure if I'm gonna find something it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, in this area. God damn. All right, I'm gonna head back to the house before it gets dark and do my outro. And let's go wash this coin up and see what it looks like. Cans and stuff. Tin cans and stuff. I found, I found this little stupid thing. Oh, it's mine, you can't see it. It's a coin. Huh? It's a coin. I saw it. I you saw it? it? Yeah, it's, it's junk. just junk. It's just junk coin. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a junk coin. <laughs> a junk coin? I'm pretty sure it isn't. No? I don't think it is either. <laughs> you should have went out in the woods with Oh what'd you do? Why you dropped you? it? We're gonna be millionaires. <laughs> you should have went out to the woods with me. Give my coin back. You're gonna drop it again. Man, we could have we could have been <laughs> team Sunny Slope. But you stay. What have you been eating? You been eating Oreos again? Yeah. Guys, you look like you have to go to the dentist. <laughs> oh man, can't believe it. All right. Yeah, he was supposed to go with me, but he's like, "Oh, you're going to the woods." He's dressed like this. He's like, "Hard pass." Nope. We found treasure. I found treasure. It's all mine. Now, I'm going to go on world excursions and to exotic places in metal detect. You guys stay here and take care of the homestead. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be famous. Oh, yeah. I'll take UTV. You're going to take me. I'm taking UTV with me. What, with what? What trailer? With, with, I'll find something. I'll put it in the back of the truck. I'll take it, in, I'll put it, I'll take it apart in pieces and put it in the back of the truck. <laughs> oh, okay. You can have my weed eater. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a you have a tractor. Now, I'm going to take that with me because I'm going to need to dig stuff up. <laughs> All right, guys. More to come on this. We're going to head back out there. Like I said, I got to get the tractor out there. I'm going to cut all that grass down and we're going to search the heck out of that whole area. And maybe we'll find some more stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you tune in next time. I'm super stoked. Maybe a unmotivated boy back here can get in on the next one either way all right guys we'll see you later thanks for watching